Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and I want to help you um, better set up your synchronizer with the 6000SM uh, reliable motor. So what I want you to look at here is my synchronizer or my hand wheel, and then we're going to also look at the take-up lever and the needle itself. So right now I have this motor set for a needle up. Obviously that's not needle up, that's needle down, but I have it set for needle up. So what I want to do is, I want to adjust the synchronizer. So I'm going to leave the synchronizer in the same position. I'm just going to turn the hand wheel. So I want to turn it independently. So what I've done is I've tightened one screw, the one screw that I could see, which is this screw here. So when I stop my machine, it stops in that position. So this is the screw that I want to tighten. Okay, yours might be slightly different depending on which machine you have. This is an ADD DDL 8700. If it's a DU1181 Juki or a 1541, you may have to stop and you might see a different one of these screws. I only want to tighten one just because for this video, we just want to tighten one and then once we're done, we'll tighten all three. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to loosen this and then I'm going to put the machine in the position itself with this hand wheel. I'm going to turn the hand wheel until I get needle up and take up lever in the up position. And then I'll tighten this screw again. So I want to keep this in the same position while turning the wheel. So if I loosen this piece, okay, I've now loosened it, all right? I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna turn the wheel until my take up lever and my needle are all the way up. Okay, I'm still in this same position. But I moved it ever so slightly, put it back in that position. Now I've tightened it. Hopefully this is gonna work. Okay, so now let's go over. Now I've turned the hand wheel independently, okay? You zoom out. And you see, now I've got needle up, I've got take up lever up, and the needle up. And I just wanna tell you, this was not my idea. A customer of our name of Shannon, Shannon gets the shout out for this. She's the one who thought of this. I didn't even think of this. So thank you, Shannon. Um, so hopefully you understand this video. If you have any questions, uh, give me a call, 888-505-4565. Uh, you can reach me on the web um, by email, info at sewinggold.com. You could always leave questions on YouTube also. So just before I finish, I wanna make sure that we tighten all these other screws when we're done with uh, setting up the synchronizer position. Once those are tight, now we're good to go. So this, that fix is going to, or fix or setup fix, is going to work for every single machine that you use this 6000SM synchronizer with.